Hello, welcome back to the channel. So today we'll be learning about minerals. So let's get started. What is a mineral? A mineral is an inorganic and naturally occurring element. Luster is the way a surface is reflecting light. And in the, sh in the picture, it shows luster. Streak is the color of the powder produced from the mineral. And the picture is an example of streak. Cleavage is the tendency of minerals to break along flat surfaces. So this mineral broke along flat surfaces. Fracture is the tendency of minerals to break unevenly along irregular surfaces. Then this is an example of fracture. Density is how much matter is in the space given. And then it also explains density in the picture. And the five criteria for minerals, or for a mineral, is it must naturally have occurred, it must be solid, it must be inorganic, it must have a crystalline structure, and it must have a specific chemical composition. It also explains what a mineral is or the five, or the five criteria for the mineral in the picture. Most hardness scale is a scale used to measure how hard or soft a mineral is. This is how you can identify minerals. Many people think color is the best way to identify a mineral, but that isn't quite right. Color is actually one of the worst ways to identify a mineral. Density and luster will help you identify which mineral it is. So now we're going to do this really quick test that I made. So let's get to it. What is a mineral? An inorganic, naturally occurring element? A rock or, I don't know. Well, we definitely know that the answer is an inorganic, naturally occurring element. What is luster? The color of powder produced from a mineral, the way a surface is reflecting light, a tendency to break along flat surfaces. Well, the answer would be the way a surface is reflecting light. What is cleavage? The color of the powder produced from a mineral, the tendency to break unevenly along irregular surfaces, or the tendency to break along flat surfaces. The answer would be the tendency to break along flat surfaces. What is streak? The way a surface is reflecting light, the tendency to break unevenly along irregular surfaces, or the color of the powder produced from a mineral. The answer would be the color of the powder produced from a mineral. What is fracture? So it's definitely not Mohs hardness scale. It's not luster because luster and fracture are not the same thing. So the answer would obviously be the tendency to break unevenly along irregular surfaces. What is one criterion for a mineral to be a mineral? One criterion. Okay, well, one criterion would be a mineral must be solid. So the scale that uses, or the scale used to measure how hard or soft a mineral is Mohs hard scale, Jessica's hardness scale, or Harper's hardness scale. Well, this one is actually pretty easy and it's Mohs hardness scale. Now, what, it, what is one of the worst ways to identify a mineral? We did talk about this and we got the answer as color. Color is one of the worst ways to identify a mineral. So what is density? 
color, how much matter there is in the space given or crystalline structure. It's definitely not color or crystalline structure, so it's definitely how much matter there is in the space given. Give another example of the five criteria for a mineral. Okay, then another one would be must be in organic. Right now, let's submit it. So we have gotten our results. Let's see if we got 100. We got number one. We got number two. We got number three. We got number four. We got number five. We got number six. We got number seven. We got number eight. We got number nine. And we got number 10. That means that we got 100. Good job. Comment down below if you understand minerals. Now there will be a video in the description box if anyone wants any extra practice or a review. That same video will be at the top. Yes, that's the one. And there will be a question of the day about minerals. And the very first person to answer will get a heart, will get pinned, and will also get a shout out in my next video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next lesson. So just a little update on my channel. So whenever you're at my channel, you can go to discussion where starting from this week, I will post or comment my next upcoming video before I either premiere it or post it. And you can just, you know, get ready for it, be excited about it, you know. So I will be posting updates about my next video. So stay tuned for that.